So now that we're talking about 2021, a lot of you guys are tuning in this video because you really want to crush your goals. So first and foremost, before you even think about your goals, just determine why do you even want to set goals? What is it you want to accomplish? Is it because you really want to feel at the end of the year that, oh my God, I did something for myself and I'm not looking to please anyone else. And no matter what happens this year, um, I think 2020 has made us a lot stronger. I think sometimes you have to be broken in order to really like transform into a phoenix. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, can we, I just, before I even start this video, can we play this 2021 like, I am just in awe that it is a new year, it's a new day, so in honor of it being the new year, I thought it'd be an amazing idea to just help you guys crush your goals in 2021. I know for me, whenever I set news resolutions, if I don't like follow through strictly with these steps, a lot of times they don't really get followed through. And you know those New Year's resolutions where you're, trying, you're like, oh, I want to lose weight or I want to give up sweets and then like after a week or two of you trying to do it, it just falls to the wayside. So if you guys are really interested in learning how to crush your goals in 2021 and just manifest everything that you are and all that you want to become in this new year, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you love videos that just help you become your authentic self, if you love videos on how to channel your individuality and also tune into your individual femininity, definitely subscribe down below. So when we start to really start to think, okay, what are my goals for 2021? What are the things I want to accomplish? I think one of the things that's so important is determining your why behind it all. I think a lot of the times we can set goals, whether it's, okay, I'm gonna lose weight, or, you know, I wanna save money, or even thinking like, I wanna stop spending less. Those goals are amazing, but I think you really need to determine why am I setting these goals? Is it because I'm trying to please someone else, or is it really because I wanna do this for myself? And so that's tip number one, determine your why. And I've learned this just from so many people. I love I'm reading books, I'm just a book nerd, but I love listening to Tony Robbins and hearing what he says, Gary Vaynerchuk, Brie Neely, there's just so many amazing people out there you can learn from. And from Tony Robbins especially, um, one of these books I'm learning, I think it's called Unleash, um, Unleash the, the Power Within, it's something like that. But one of the things that he says in determining your goals is just determining your why. Like, what is the reason why you want to accomplish something? So now that we're talking about 2021, a lot of you guys are tuning in this video because you really want to crush your goals. So first and foremost, before you even think about your goals, just determine why do you even want to set goals? What is it you want to accomplish? Is it because you really want to feel at the end of the year that, oh my God, I did something for myself and I'm not looking to please anyone else? Do it, okay? So definitely set your new goals. The second thing I would say to do is, I, I wrote down my notes. Okay, so as we mentioned, determine your why. What, okay, determine your why. What feels you to achieve this goal? We know you deserve to achieve it, but are you willing to do it? Okay. Now, when you determine your why, you really want to think about what fuels you to achieve this goal. We know that you deserve it. I think we all deserve to accomplish your goals and just to live our best lives. And I think before we can even think that we can attain it, I think a lot of it comes to ourselves in determining why is it do we want to achieve it. The second thing I would say to accomplish your goals in 2021 and really crushing it so you can be successful at the end of the 365 days in this year is to write them down. Writing down your goals and just anything in general, whether if you're a Christian, writing down powerful Bible verses that just fool you to carry on when you're going through tough situations, you know, or instance, if you really want to train for a marathon, writing down your goals about how you're going to train is so important. This is no different for 2021. I think the foundation of just thinking about, okay, what is it that I really want to accomplish and like write it down. So that is tip number two is to write down those goals. After you write down your big picture goals, I think it's so important to be specific. So let's say one of my goals is to really take YouTube seriously and to just channel all the passions that I feel like God has given me. One of my goals would have to be taking time to figure out if my goal is to, let's say, get 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. My little specific, that's my big goal. My little mini goals, like my one, two, three bullet points behind that would be to research content. Find out what's trending. Find out what is what are topics that I'm really passionate about that I want to help others with to grow. You really need to be specific with those goals. So write down, you know, whether it's a weekly, daily, or monthly goal, write down exactly what you're going to do to achieve those big picture goals. And you'll be sure on your way 
to attaining them. Now, the fourth thing I would say to crushing your goals in 2021 is your mindset. Guys, if you don't already know this, your mindset is everything. And like your mindset is everything towards life. In beating depression, your mindset is everything. In determining if you're in a crappy AF relationship and um, your mindset can determine whether you think you stay in that or whether you think you just go into a season of singleness before you move on to maybe your next best relationship. I think it's so important. I wish they taught us this in schools, but honestly, like your mindset is literally a game changer. So when you're thinking about how in the world am I gonna set my news resolutions for 2021? How am I actually gonna accomplish them? Because maybe in the past you haven't been able to accomplish your goals and that's okay. I think one of the amazing things is once you realize there's something that you wanna change, embracing that frustration or embracing that maybe you haven't really followed through, that's like the first amazing step and knowing, hey, I may not have achieved this, but I know it's not something that I wanna continue doing. I actually wanna accomplish this. And I think that it all begins with our mindset. You know, being on YouTube, especially, you can be in the mindset as a new YouTuber, oh man, like I'm a new YouTuber, there's no way no one's gonna watch me, I keep on putting videos like three times a week and I don't see the views. And some people may give up, but if you continue to work at it, you continue to do research, you continue to figure out, okay, what are some videos that a lot of people watch, I trust and believe, you will gain subscribers. And like being your authentic self and knowing that, hey, I know that I can achieve this. I know I have this. I have the ability to accomplish this goal of whether it is being a YouTuber or losing 20 pounds or staying off sweets or getting out of this abusive relationship. Whatever it is, I think your mindset and just believing in yourself is so powerful. And that's the beauty of why I personally, I'm a Christian. Um, I just love God. I think just the power of who God is and how he transforms lives. I mean, it is amazing. And even if you don't know who God is, like that's completely fine. Like I'm not going to pressure anyone into believing him, but I do want to say, I think it's important to know like a lot of the things that are inwoven in the Bible, like helps you with everyday life. When I think about mindset, you know, sometimes in my life in the past, um, when I've just not been consistent, I've kind of let the noise around me kind of like deafen my path and passion. And I think when you come to the point of like, okay, who does God say I am? Who am I in Christ? I think that's so important to realize. Like your mindset is everything, guys. And who does God say I am? You know, he said, I can achieve all things through Christ. I'm created. I'm beautifully and wonderfully made in his image. You know, all these things. God only speaks love to us. And I think if we just looked at ourselves with that same type of light, um, I'm so sorry. I'm like so handy, so I'm going to stop doing that. But I think if we just looked at ourselves in that same type of light and like had a mindset to know, you know what? I'm worthy. I'm worthy to achieve these goals that I want to accomplish. I'm worthy to get out of generational debt or generational curses in my family. Trust and believe you can achieve it. You know, and I think mindset is just everything. Having a positive mindset to know, even when it gets tough, I'm not going to give up. Even when, you know, someone's leaving a mean comment saying that, oh my goodness, like you're this and you're that. I'm not going to let the naysayers stop me. And I think it's so true. You may have people when you maybe verbalize your goal, they may think, oh yeah, that's not true. I'm sure a lot of people, you know, I've heard the thing, you know, if you want to become an interior designer and you're from a family like mine, who is very, um, um, I, my family's background is Creole and there's certain things that you go after. You become a nurse, you become a doctor, you know, you go into these professions and sometimes when you take a different path, you may feel like, oh my, you know, I made the wrong decision. But if you really have that mindset to know, you know, I'm going to pursue this for me. I'm not doing it for anyone else. That is the beauty of goals, guys. Do it for yourself. And I think your mindset is just literally everything. So we're going to recap some of the tips for achieving your goals in 2021. There's so many things I could go through, but I really want to give you like a little bit of a, just snippets of just ways you can crush your goals. And it definitely will be like a little bit of a series in I love to tell you guys, um, you know, how I went from, you know, knowing that I just loved a certain passion of mine for years and not really pursuing it because I felt like, man, this is not a real career. And then like one year, just finally be like, you know what, I'm going to do it. And like actually being successful in that and like, you know, getting clients in that field, it was just amazing. And I'd love to share with you guys some of the things I did to do that. And um, yeah, so let's just recap on ways to crush your new year's, new year, new year, the, the, the. The first thing you want to do is determine your why. Like, why in the world do you want to set these goals in the first place? What is the reason? What is fueling your desire to complete these goals? The second reason, no. The second thing I would say is to write it down. You want to write down your goals 
and just determine, okay, what is it that I actually want to achieve for my New Year's resolutions? And giving yourself a grace to know, don't just pick things that you think these are safe, like go through the stars, like don't discredit yourself, like dream big, you know what I mean? Like reach, reach all over the place, okay? Don't limit yourself. You got this. The third thing I would say is to be specific. You want to be able to, under your goals, do some bullet points, stars, whatever you want to do under that goal, write down exactly how you're going to achieve it. You can do this daily, weekly, monthly, and like check back in with your goals to see, hey, if I really said that I wanted to lose weight and maybe 10 pounds by the end of this month or five pounds, whoever it is, what am I doing every day to get there? Am I working out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday like I promised in my workbook? And just make sure you do that. And if you don't, just give yourself grace to just make that time up. But just make sure you're strict in following your goals. You know what I mean? And that's going to really help you achieve it. And the last thing I would say to achieve your goals in 2021, which is mindset, guys. Mindset is everything. I think just telling yourself sweet nothings is just... Literally, you just build that confidence and like you're an unstoppable rock. When you know that if the world or if someone comes to you and says something that you know um, it's not true about yourself, like you have to have the self-confidence in yourself to know that's not true. It doesn't matter what the naysayers know. I love myself to know that I've got this. So I hope you guys enjoyed your new year. I hope you guys can love these tips on how to crush your new year's goals for 2021. These are just four simple steps that you guys can start now. And um, yeah, just stay tuned for more content to come on this channel. If you have followed along my channel before, you know that I posted a couple of hair care videos when I showed my natural, um, my journey from relaxed to natural, but I just really want to pivot this channel to just talk, um, just to show more aspects of myself, to you know, talk more with the camera, um, go behind the scenes, and just to share some wisdom with you guys about what I've learned throughout my years of living on this earth. So if you're wondering, okay, what are some things that I could maybe um, expect from this channel? Like what's some new topics that I have? I would love to talk to you guys about individuality, how to embrace who you are, how to, you know, not feel like you need to conform to stereotypes. Be sure to check that out because literally that's like my life story of not conforming to stereotypes. And, um, you know, I would love to talk about just, um, just stereotypes on race and for some reason, you know, they're sometimes they're being a misconception of what being black is and how people can define you as an Oreo or label you as a certain type of way. And I just want you to know that you do not be defined by your labels. So I will be posting videos on that soon. And I also would love to talk about relationships and just how to embrace your individual style, your femininity, and just um, to really just stand up to yourself and level up in 2021. So if you're all about that, all about um, just self-love, acceptance, um, just, you know, having girl chats, girl talk, definitely subscribe to this channel. I am just hoping that you guys have a good 2021, no matter what happens this year. Um, I think 2020 has made us a lot stronger. I think sometimes you have to be broken in order to really like transform into a phoenix and just really define who you are to be stronger for the next season. And I think for me, at least that's what 2020 has taught me. I've grown so much. And I'm just yeah, really excited to go on this journey with you guys. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video. I also wanted to mention one other thing I want to mention we'll be talking about. We're going to talk about body positivity as well. I'm a mom. I've suffered from diastasis recti. I would love to show you guys, you know, pregnancy and postpartum. Your postpartum body isn't all what you see on celebrities and the magazines. Like, we don't just snatch back up. You know, there's a lot of sometimes trauma that can happen. And I'll love to be talking about that too. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give this a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah, I'm just the hands. I'm sorry about the hands.